I get asked last week, what kind of music, what kind of music do you like, Kev? I don't know. I don't have a fucking clue. Kind of music, uh, modern stuff just sounds the same to me. Just uh, everything's just all that R and B stuff. We like these days, in the club, all that sort of stuff. You'd, everybody in the club, in the club. <laughs> See, every song sounds to me, in the club, in the club, in the club. <laughs> I just speak in a language I don't get. Everybody gonna shuffle on down in the club. <laughs> We're getting freaky in the club. I'm feeling sexy in the club, in the club, in the club, in the club, in the club. DJ spinning my song in the club. In the club. <laughs> Everything happens in this club with these pricks, isn't it? In the club. <laughs> we ain't gonna stop till it's time to start again. In the club. In the club, in the club, in the club. <laughs> no songs that just make you feel thick. You, you actually feel it deleting cookies in your brain. In the club. In the club, in the club. In the club. <laughs> Uh, the song finishes and you think, fucking hell, I now know less stuff. <laughs> I've just forgot the difference between a pastoral and an arable farm. <laughs> the fuck did I just forget standard grade geography there because of that song? <laughs> in the club, in the club, in the club. Even their names, Will I Am. That guy, how, how do you get to that stage in your celebrity status, Will I Am? His name is William. You just decide to start putting full stops in the middle. <laughs> Oh, I am. If I was to request to be known as Kev I-N, I'd get a fucking slap in the face. <laughs> if I was to sit my dad down and say, Dad, I'm thinking about, thinking about reinventing myself as Kev I-N. <laughs> He'd be saying, Just run that by me again, son. <laughs> oh, step outside, talk me through this. That song, Bruno Mars, that's when I lost a bit of faith in modern, modern music. I'd catch, I'd catch a grenade for you, that song. Heard that a few years ago. So on a lot, I'd catch a grenade for you. That's, like, that's what passes for romance these days. That's a love song in the modern day. I would catch a grenade for you. That's the guy singing about the depths of his love. But what I'm guessing is his girlfriend that he's prepared to catch. I don't mean to offer the guy relationship advice, but if you're dating somebody who people are chucking grenades at, <laughs> That's your first fucking problem, right there. Oh. Is that an ex of yours? Fucking hell. <laughs> well, what does he plan on taking her? A romantic stroll down the Hellman province? <laughs> Come on. I'll fucking catch them. Come on. Oh, you're so cute when you worry. Come on. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I fucking caught it. There we go. It's the kind of girl your mum would say. I think you can do a bit better than that, son. <laughs> I like a bit of honesty in my song lyrics. If I was singing a love song, I'd be singing promises I could deliver. I, I, would, I would take a dead arm for you. Something like that. <laughs> That, I'd take a deedy. I'd take a deedy for you. <laughs> I'd take a right good fucking slagging for you. <laughs> uh, we like a celebrity these days. Uh, we like that about a celebrity culture. I'm the same. I watch these fucking chat shows with all these plant pots like Nicole Scherzinger and Nicki Minaj and Madonna and all these people just. I've, I've been on chat shows. But these fucking types, none of them going just that, yeah, and that's self absorbed. I, I would love to host a chat show. I've been thinking about this. I'd, I'd love to host a chat show. And I, would, <laughs> I would call it, it Digi Aye. Because <laughs> that is the only thing I think when I watch these people, not self absorbed, just. Lack of humility when they start whinging, yeah. Uh, you know, man, uh, after the incident, which I'm not prepared to talk about, uh, I guess I disappeared into a bad place. You know, I went to a dark place and I didn't even know myself anymore. I was pretty low. I looked in the mirror and I didn't even know who that guy was anymore, man. That, that was a tough time for me. But I realize now that I had to go to that place to survive. And I, 
I had to go to that place and survive to get to this place. You know, man, I had to go there to get here. <laughs> oh, did you? I... <laughs> Just that one dismissive tell, and then just leaving it hanging, just off on a vacant stare in return. <laughs> Tell the studio audience the tension is unbearable, occasionally breaking the stare to give the crowd the who's this prick look. But yeah, there's so many different me's, you know, there's, there's happy me, angry me, and uh, you do not want to see angry me. And uh, I guess I was becoming this new me that you guys in the media had created, and you know, I get tired. Oh, did you, eh? <laughs> it's like, at school, remember at school, when somebody was talking shit, you could just count other claims by going, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I watch a celebrity chat. Did you? I bu bu bu. <laughs> <laughs> Some aspects of school life should have continued long into adulthood. That's number one in the last. When somebody's talking fucking nonsense, that should remain a valid retort. Bu bu bu. It made me laugh at 10, makes me laugh at 25. I'll fucking. I'll laugh at that when I'm in my 80s. I'll be in a nursing home. <laughs> There'll be some care worker saying, Mr. Bridges, I hope you know your grandchildren are so excited to come and visit you on Sunday. Isn't that nice? They really they can't wait to come and see you. They're so excited to come and spend the whole day with you. And I'll be going, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> I fucking hated school. I could, I could never even enjoy the weekends. At primary school, I could never even enjoy the weekends for worrying about going back in the Monday. Remember that? <laughs> I used to get a gut-wrenching feeling on Sundays. It was a telly, programmes like Love Joy and <laughs> London's Burning and then Heartbeat. Oh. I used to have that school in the morning telly. The Heartbeat theme tune would come on. Just, sit, just feels as if it's getting fucking in your arse and ripping your spirit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's my spirit leaving my arse again. Oh. <laughs> Heartbeat, ah, oh, yeah. Why do you fucking school in the fucking morning? <laughs> Claude Greengrass, how come every time he's on the telly, I need to go for a bath? Oh, bastard. <laughs> I enjoyed high school. Used to do that. Used to play a bit of truant. I need to call it playing truant, because we've got a DVD. Don't want to talk about fucking dogging, in case there's English watching it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>